I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigo. I assumed our reception would be a trouble. I state my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. There Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigo my word that we will be executed. Won't do you a lick of good. Men like him are a blight on his majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog kennel. Captain Hornigo, please call your man. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Take this shanty town as if it were your own. Aye, but the king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, Governor. I have my orders, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. You ain't got them. It's fast, a lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. 
All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decisions. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your witness. <laughs> Commodore, we're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. plantations beyond the sea, every such pirate and pirate shall surrender in him or themselves as a forced shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing, and we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. Oh, and all our governors shit. and commanders from any fort, castle, or other places in our planting And all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. The Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dullards!
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Pace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you forecastle headed fuddlers. We'll see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink. Look at him. Turn cops. Makes me bloody ill to think on how many times I've put up with horny gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Hornigold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of? Nassau is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. Ain't a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. No one allowed here to... You! I got some of that here too. 
I'm still.
not is he saying Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Tss. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. Despite the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bar those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Split me, no. I'm we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. Commodore, in truth. He's a serious chap. No sense of humor. Oh, there. Stop that. Oh, you're stunning.
The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? Has syphilis clouded your mind? Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. The Commodore's dead, are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You sat on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Stay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're going to have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. Captain, keep it afloat. All sail! All sail! Close down! Man your sheets! Ease off the wind! The Brits are on to us. Look there! Bring in the... Tops! Gallants! Royals! Start! Stay 
near the fire ship, Captain. Keep it afloat. <laughs> Mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! The burning of your ass, governor! Oh, Prancing about like they took a prize. Oh, 